Okay, so let's go through some of the base handling of the base class. Um, we'll do some simple imports, just importing red nine in here. And we're going to make our first meta node. This uh, is the main call, meta class, and I'm going to pass it in a name and we'll call it Fred. So there's Fred. And there's our main node called Fred. This is, uh, you notice, a network node. By default, meta class objects are network nodes. That you can change in the code um, if you need to dig further. This is important one, this M class. This is the um, pointer that basically says that this node called Fred will always be a meta class. And if you have subclasses, you, this will get set to the subclass. So there's a one by one correlation between the two. Um, I'm just going to quickly go through the ATA handlers. Um, so add ATA is function inside meta. And in this case, I'm going to give it, uh, I'm going to give it a name called string test, and I'm going to pass a value, which is a string. And what you'll see is that it's in the code, figured out that the value it's going to set is a string. So it's therefore made a string attribute, and it's set that string attribute in one go. Same with things like floats. So in fact, same with most of them. Um, in this case, I'm setting it, and I'm passing in a min and a max, which is also handled. You can see it's set the, the values there. Um, and also with the uh, min and max in here, if the attribute float test already exists, all it will do will ru is run the keywords. It won't reset the attribute. It won't set the value. It'll just run the keywords so you can update uh, min, max, etc. And we're just going to go through and add some bits. I'm going to lock one of the attributes. This is an internal call. But um, the main power is in the dot .complete. So if I go dot and I were to go, you'll see int test is now there on the object as an attribute. So if I do that, that gives me back the data, 3. And if I want to set the data, I just say equals, and it's set the data. Uh, with this one that's locked, um, I can go equals, and it will look at it. It knows it's locked. It's set the value. It's unlocked. It's set the value, and reset the, uh, the locked state of that node in one go. And the same happens with all the rest of them, etc. It's just everything is in the equals and the dot complete. Um, same with enums. Enums are handled. Um, the nice thing with enums is that I can pass in the values as the string itself. So I can pass, if I set that to that, I can pass in the values as a string, or I can pass in the values as an int, but it will always return the int back. But it's in the JSON wrapping that things get interesting. So um, in this one, I'm going to make a JSON, oh, sorry, I'm going to make a dictionary. This is just a standard Python dictionary. It's got some data in it. And I'm going to add an attribute called JSON test and pass it that dictionary. Now what it's going to do, or what it's done, is it's looked at that, it's figured out that's a complex object. Um, it's figured out it's got to go through the JSON serializer, so it's serialized that data, thrown it into a string attribute because it has to, and set that string attribute. And if I were to now go that, node.json test, what you'll see is the dictionary comes back intact because it's going through the deserializer, and because of that, in one go, I can pull out that key from that dictionary in one go. Very useful. Um, things like doubles are handled very easily as well, and again, they're set um, and made. Doubles are a pain up the ass if you've ever made them in Maya. Um, this makes it really easy, just set and get. But it's in the attribute handlers uh, and the connection handlers that things get interesting. So I'm going to make, <coughs> excuse me, I'm going to make five cubes, and I'm going to add an attribute, and I'm going to make it. I'm going to call it single message. I'm going to make it a simple message type, and the simple message type is just a singular message link. And you note here I'm passing a value of cube one, so I'm actually saying I'm going to set this message link to cube one. And that's it. And if I open up the red node inspector, this thing here, meta node inspector, there's my meta node. And if I were to graph that, you'll see Fred is indeed connected to cube one via this simple message mes message link. And that will always come back as a list. So if I do that, it come back as a list and give me the object back. More importantly, if I now say, actually, I give it a statement, I say, you are now equal to cube two. And I go back into my graph, you'll see it's unconnected cube one, and it's connected cube two back to that attribute, and it's cleaned the plugs up on cube one. Very powerful. There goes the phone again. Um, if I use the same thing and I just give it message, message will give me a multi-message um, attribute, and it index manages that link. So I've just said, in one go, give me a multi-message, uh, multi and set it to PQ1 and 3. So I do that. There indeed is it. It's connected to PQ1 and 3. Um, and I can do the same kind of thing. So, you know, all of this is just basically saying, nope, make these statements true. So the statement is basically saying multi message is now equal to 2, uh, sorry, to 3 and 4. 
There's three, multi-message, three and four now connected to multi-message. So it's very powerful, and that's basically how a lot of the, um, the walking systems, and we'll go through the, the uh, rig system next, this is what it's all running. And that's all wrapped, all of this stuff, all this adapter for connection is all wrapped in this connect child and connect children calls that are in the base class. So last thing I want to do on this is just reiterate this, so I'm going to make a connect child. So node.connect child, which makes more sense than adapter of type. I'm going to give it PQ5, I'm going to give it an attribute to call my child, and I'm going to give it a thing called source adder. And what that's going to do is connect PQ5 up to Fred. So PQ5 is connected, where is it, just there. But PQ5 is connected to um, an adder called my child via specific adder, which is one here. Basically I'm saying set the source attribute, i.e. the attribute on this node, to be this name, which is very good, very easy, and delete adder is also managed in the same way. But what if you haven't got, um, and you don't want to make a new node, what if you've got a, a, a node already and you want to use this attribute handlers? All you've got to do is rather than pass a name into MetaClass, you pass in the object. And that, a bit like PyMail when you uh, make the Py nodes, this just instantiates Lambert1 as a wrapped node, and in fact if I do that, you'll see it comes back as a wrapped standard mayor node, which basically means it's not a, it's not by default a native meta node, but it inherits all of the uh, the attribute handlers. So on out on Lambert, I can now go m Lambert dot, and all the attributes that Lambert has are exposed directly for you, uh, and I can pick any of those, like diffuse. Just go give me the diffuse. It's currently one. Uh, what's the color? Color is red, obviously. Set the color. It's all wrapped and it makes things very easy and very convenient uh, for managing attributes and that's something that we'll go through in a minute with the rest of the systems.